is upon their heads. Are you now ready to pray? I'd like you to begin to declare that this year is my year of marvelous light. Name every aspect of your life. Ministry, marriage, children, business. Go ahead and declare. By the power of the Holy Spirit. It is my year of marvelous light. In the name of Jesus. Supernatural insight into the mysteries of the kingdom. Understanding of the ways of God. The administration of the life and the power of God within my heart. And within my body. Direction. 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 Even by the spirit. Go ahead and pray. This is the year for supernatural empowerment. I am not weak. Strengthened by the power of the Holy Ghost. Decree and declare. It is not a negative year for me. I prophesy by the power of God. Light shine. Light shine. Light shine. Command the light to shine. In every area of your life. light shine over my spiritual life this is a year for high level spiritual ascendance pray over your health and your body in the name of jesus my body is preserved preserved by the power of the holy ghost kept by the power of god kept by the power of God no demon no devil no cause no enchantment will prevail over my body in the name of Jesus pray pray for your family cover them with this prophetic word as for me and my house we will not only serve the Lord we will serve in safety we will serve in peace in the name of Jesus In Jesus' name I pray. Now listen to me. You are going to mention every month from January to December. Give it an instruction by the word of God. You are going to command it to shine. Take away every negative thing from your January, from your February. Go ahead. Pray. January I speak to you. You are the month that the Lord has made. February. The month that the Lord has made. March. The month that the Lord has made. April. May. June. I decree and declare. Disaster. Be taken from my months. Shame. Be taken out of my months. Death. Be taken out of my months. Declare. Retrogression. Be taken out of my months. This honor be taken out of my months by the power of the Holy Ghost from January till December. My life and my days will bring glory to the name of the Lord. Prophesy as I travel in the air, I decree and declare safety and preservation as I drive on land, safety and preservation by the sea, safety and preservation in my coming out, in my going in, safety and preservation. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Please don't be tired, we're praying. Now hear me. The season of marvelous light also means an unveiling of what is hidden. Are you ready to declare that everything in my life that God has put within me 
that should find expression to bring glory to the name of the Lord and to be a blessing to me that has been covered hitherto. This year, you are unveiled. Go ahead and pray. Every gift, every anointing, every unction locked up within your spirit, every business idea, every potential, locked up within your spirit, find visibility. Let the light reveal. Let the light reveal. Let the light reveal. Let the light reveal. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I want you to pray you're going to mention as much as you can the names of your loved ones and all who are within your care and declare light father expose anything that wants to keep these people down wants to keep them limited in the name of Jesus let light come let it expose and let it lift them go ahead open your mouth pray for your parents pray for your children mention them by name You are brooding over every darkness. You are causing light to shine from darkness. You are brooding over every darkness. You are causing light to shine from darkness. Holy Ghost is brooding. Over every darkness, you are causing light to shine from God. Please pray. This year, my children will not give me headache. They will not give me trouble. Let there be light in my family. Let there be light over my parents. Let there be light over my loved ones. As for me and my house, over every darkness. hallelujah please listen to me listen to me apologize i know we've stretched a few minutes but please listen to me everybody is going to pray over the works of your hands don't say it does not matter the only reason why israel goes to egypt is hunger every time there is hunger can i tell you this listen it is important one of the reasons why we pray that the supplies of heaven find expression in our lives so that it can grant us the stability to not compromise can i tell you the truth many believers under pressure will do things they will not believe they will do it's easy to point fingers at people and say oh this one this politician this one but we have to pray even jacob in genesis 42 from verse 1 and 2 jacob said why do you look at yourselves like this i have heard that there is corn in egypt he said get down thither and buy for us 
so that we will live and not die even a prophet when he is hungry he will send his future to Egypt you've heard me say it I will never be the man of God who will only focus on the spiritual development of God's people and not care about their well-being Christianity is, is a responsible faith practice that attempts or that that covers the love of God and his intention is to bring holistic holistic life and joy to us one of the major areas where God's people right now as I speak not something that will happen is in this area of finance and economy the Bible says the borrower is slave to the lender that means if I want to make you a slave I don't have to make you a slave by making you a slave I only make you a slave by making you a borrower are we together there are many believers who are in terrible financial situations I've had the honor and the privilege to pray with a number of people especially in recent times people who love God sincerely but the bills will not let them rest can you pray that one prayer before I speak over your life listen you are going to decree and declare that in the name of Jesus this is the season where you will see the manifestation of God's grace even in the area of supplies pray for yourself pray for your ministry pray for your business please do not entertain lack and want it will affect your convictions pray open the heavens oh god grant wisdom grant relationships supernatural ideas strange manifestations of favor bring your people to their wealthy place bring your people to their heaven The slavery of lack and want and poverty we curse you by the God of heaven this is a season of light your people will experience supplies supernatural supplies hallelujah 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 let me encourage you therefore listen to me when the flood when the flood was going to come God called one man called Noah and said Noah flood is going to come upon the earth and is going to kill everything everything that has life therefore build an ark of three stories of gopher wood and he gave him specific dimensions and when he built the ark it was never God's desire to save only eight people there is nowhere written in the Bible where God said it is only eight people I wanted to save the stubbornness of the fallen man is what landed them in that flood the ark could be able to take as many people the animals obeyed but men disobeyed the animals did not even wait to experiment with the rain from the bush they started coming two by two seven by seven into the ark but men they began to laugh and to mock them and the bible says god closed that door can i tell you this i don't mean to be arrogant but one of the reasons why god sent us to this city is because of these times we're not the only ones doing what we're doing. It's a collective effort of the body of Christ. But we have a contribution.